Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful morning. I, I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here in my yard just looking at all this beautiful sunshine. And my birds are back there. And I have y'all some coffee. This is, this is your coffee. Y'all, the last video I did, I had bluebirds out there just going all, just, just all over the place, and I, and I thought I could see. Some looked like was real close to that hole where, where they uh, were. But I was doing my video, and I didn't stop and. I looked over there every so often, but I didn't stop. Those bluebirds flew out that afternoon, I think. And bluebirds do not eat seeds. They they don't. They eat worms and bugs and all kind of little things. They don't eat seeds. They they never come up here and eat seeds. But what I have noticed every time they hatch out of that nest, they all go out there to the bird bath and they get in it. And they splash and they splash and they and I videoed some of them in there splashing around. I'm going I'm going to put it in this video and let y'all see because it is the cutest things. They, they, I, I don't know if they think they're dirty or they just been in that, oh, the birds are flying all over everywhere out there. I just fed them. But, uh, I videoed them out here and took some pictures of them in the bird bath fluttering and all around. Uh, I know there was two babies in two houses. They three, well, I got three, four, five bird houses right over there that I can look at any time I want to. <laughs> you know I love birds. I love bluebirds and redbirds and all of them I feed. I, but it makes me sad to let them eat my birds that I feed and the, they know me. They know when I'm out here and when I come out to feed them, they know it. <laughs> oh, I see birds just flying everywhere. Anyway, I, I got birds. I've got rabbits just hopping around. The other day I was sitting in there in my, uh, on my couch, I can see all out here on my couch. I can see my front the rocks, 
all these. And and I was sitting in there and I saw something walk over there and hop up that doorstep. It was a little old rabbit about this high. I don't know how that little old rabbit he he jumped up there and went over got on my porch. He wasn't big as he wasn't big as my fist. He was a little old bitty thing. Anyway, I've had strange things happening around here. I had my neighbor over there had some chickens. And she kept them pinned up, but she'd let them out to eat around, you know. Right over here they would come. They'd, they'd walk around, they'd go on the carport, they'd just up right up here where I was at. They, they was tame as they could be. They wasn't wild a bit. And uh, those, those chickens just, and I had tomatoes planted and I had stuff all out here, you know, and tomatoes will, uh, chickens will pick tomatoes and eat them. And then scratch out your flowers and everything else. But I like chickens, but you know, I can't have chickens because I have flowers and stuff, you know, and I don't need anything else to look at, look after. But anyway, I was, uh, I tried to make them, they live right across the street, over, road over there. Well, I would try to make them go that way, you know, I'd get behind them and I'd shoo them and I'd shoo them and they'd get right out there and they'd turn around and they'd come back. They did not want to go back over there. So, I kept on it and I, they're in some of my videos, I can't remember which one exactly what they're in, but they would come up here where I was at and just walk around cooking and doing that little what whatever chickens do. They'd go around there on the carport and they'd walk around all out here. I, anyway, she finally uh, put them up and I think some dogs got them. She, she would let them out over there to kind of eat around in the yard. But uh, I was out here just right after, you know, that, after, after she locked them up. And I was cleaning out over there, that bush right over there that's it, right in front of my porch. It's like this bush, this big bush here, but it's just smaller, it's about that tall. I was down there pulling stuff and I looked up under that bush. There was a nest of eggs, 12 eggs in that nest. All, I mean a big old nest of chicken eggs. I said, no one of them chickens didn't want to go home. They was trying to uh, sit on them eggs and hatch them, I reckon, I don't know, but I don't think they had ever started uh, sitting on them, they just was laying them. And they they had a big old wadded out place under there where they was eggs all just laying all there, about 12 eggs. So I got them and I, I cooked them, I, I, I cracked them, every one individual to see if they were all right before I ate them. But Y'all, I have some of the strangest things. I was out here watering yesterday, some stuff around. There was a little rabbit come hop up there where I was at, and I sprayed him. He wouldn't even hardly leave when I sprayed him with the water. Y'all, I'm telling you, I, I have some strange things happening around here. And, and the other night I went in the bathroom, and I, I, look, I, I have a curtain in there that, Ooh, a bird just flew right over there. I have a curtain in there, and I pull that curtain back, and there's a little green frog stuck on that window. He's up there every night. That frog is sitting on that window. Just, just stuck to the window. They'll just kind of hover down and stick to something. Well, that little green frog... It's stuck around there, and I've had them for years. 
around there. Oh, there's another bird. I don't know what that big old bird is. Anyway, uh, let me get back to what I was doing. Y'all, I can't even talk for birds. Uh, it's warm, y'all. Warm. Anyway, I, I went in there. But I have, and I have a snake that lives out there in a hole. I don't know which hole. I know he is long. He is way long. It's a king snake. And they don't hurt nothing, but they'll make you hurt yourself if you're scared of them. <laughs> but anyway, he lives out there, and, and, and he's in some of my videos. I, I videoed that old long snake. He, he's not scared either. He, he just acts like he's at home. He don't worry about getting killed or nothing happening to him. He just crawls around wherever he wants to, but as long as he don't crawl in the house, I, I'll be all right. He can crawl around out here as long as I see him. But, and, and I saw him one day out there, and I saw him go in a hole. These holes, like, like this big around out there, I had a bunch of pine trees out there at one time, and had them cut down and and the roots ground out and left holes kind of and I filled them up but they still little holes all out there anyway that snake goes down in them holes and I don't know how deep they are or where they go or nothing but I seen him go in there so long as he don't come up here and crawl on my foot like I have had a snake to do not that snake that snake has got yellow stripes around it. I was sit, I was right over there doing the project, and and I was I got up and I was doing something with my hands and I don't know what I I can't remember exactly what I was doing, but I was doing something and I I felt something like, uh, and I looked down, y'all. They was the biggest, longest black snake, which probably wouldn't have hurt me. Crawling across my foot. He just, he wasn't in no hurry. He just was crawling across. I had shoes on that the toe was out and the heel was out. There was a little strap across the top up here. I could feel him going across my foot. I, I was petrified. I could not move. I, I I couldn't. I was just hoping he'd hurry up and get on past my foot. But it took him a while to get across it. He he went all across there. And later on, later on, my grandchildren were over here and they was out there playing. They found a snake skin about six foot long laying out there. I think that was that snake skin. I mean, he, they shed, you know, every so often, they don't. Uh, but I, I think things think they okay if they hear, because they, they don't want to leave. I, I sprayed water on that rabbit. He didn't, he didn't act like he too, too worried about it. He, 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 he's not scared of me. I don't know what in the world. And I was out there cooking. I was out there walking around that bush. A rabbit jumped out of there. Y'all, I, I don't know. I Rabbits eat up my stuff, but I got them kind of uh, wire around them. I, don't, I hope. I've seen them sitting right here in my, right here eating stuff on the ground, you know, like old clover and uh, green stuff. Anyway, I, I've talked way too much again y'all uh y'all it's it's warm in georgia and i'm drinking coffee too <laughs> what i'm gonna do is where is what i'm gonna do
It's 75 degrees and it's about 8.30. Uh, another old basket. I found this old basket. I'm, t I'm telling you, this is a real... I, it's kind of spreading apart, so I tied a, a fishing line across there where it wouldn't fall apart or fall open too much. But anyway, uh, what, I, what I'm going to do on this project is, and I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all my uh, container stuff around there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put, now y'all, y'all, this, this is real, real old. It is about to come apart, but it doesn't matter because I am going to put cement in the, in the middle of this. It's not going to be like this inside, which don't matter really, but, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to put cement on this and let me, let me get something. have some rocks look at that red rock y'all and all kind of rocks I'm going to put cement on here and I'm going to put rocks on it that's what I'm hopefully planning on doing so I bought these rocks from Home Depot about maybe two years ago. I don't know. I've had them a long time, and I, I had some around my flowers out there. So, and I picked some of the smaller ones up, and and I'm going I'm gonna put big rocks on on this uh, on this pot and uh with cement so i'm gonna get around here now and get my cement and i'm gonna show you my uh my container garden now and then i'll get get my cement and mix it so i'll be right back Okay, y'all, this is my tomatoes that I planted in this container. And, and I had uh, up here, uh, one got ripe. The one I made a tomato sandwich. Look down here at the, at the tomatoes. It's hard to do this and with one hand but there's tomatoes all down here oh tomatoes like I've never never ever grown tomatoes that produce like these have in this little five gallon bucket <laughs> So I'm going uh I I'm 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 just really and truly cannot believe all these tomatoes and they're big old tomatoes. This here's another big one. I mean this and all all down here are just tomatoes hanging. They can't even hardly hold up. Okay, I'm gonna go around here now and show you my other ones okay y'all here's my other tomato this is one plant in this uh 
old cooler that I had around there. I'm going to try to let y'all see. <laughs> y'all, the, they are so many tomatoes that you cannot... the best way to show y'all uh, look at the tomatoes and they're down here like they're, the vines have just dropped down because they're so heavy they can't the vines cannot hold up the tomatoes they have just all fell down Look, look at that. Look. Just tomatoes, just... Just so many. So many. And the vines... I don't know what you do when you have so so many that the vines can't look at there the vines can't hold up because they they're too heavy now let me see if I can There's, they, they're, they're all down here. Y'all can't see them. They're just, it's just can't uh, show y'all because I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. And I'm going to pick, because there's so many on here. I'm going to pick. I can't even keep up with where, what y'all can see. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. Where is this one? I think my camera not. Y'all, I'm having a time. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, this one. I'm going to pick this one. I'm, y'all, I am going to pick, I'm going to have fried green tomatoes. Good gracious, look at them in there. Oh, good gracious. Oh, down in there. And y'all can't even see all the tomatoes that's in there. <sighs> Let me. Can y'all see in there? I don't know what you do about the vines. Not. I don't know what you do about the vines that's so heavy that you they can't hold up the tomatoes. Look at there. I'm trying to let y'all see y'all. But there's so many. The vines are breaking. They just, I guess you have to pull some off.
Y'all, I know some of them needs to come off because there are too many on there. Okay. This This is my string beans. I can't even get back far enough to for y'all to see. Okay. There's my string beans. Okay. There's my string beans. They are blooming. They don't have any. I don't think they have any. There's some blooms right there. They're blooming all up in here. Oh, I didn't. There's blooms. They, they, it won't be long, and they're almost to the window up there. And there's my, and this is my uh, bell pepper that I planted in this container. It, it has, it has bell pepper on it. Some small ones. Here's one that's has a bell pepper, and this is squash. So, y'all, I have to say, container gardening is is awesome. I, I, this is my cane, a little little patch of cane that I have here. This is my uh, squash. And y'all look at the blooms. There's so many you can't even. It's hard to take a picture of all this. But anyway, they're 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 growing and they're big. Okay, this is this is squash in this container. Look at that. All them squash down there. Look how big the vines are. And I got cane coming up in there. I hear a hawk. This is a uh, squash. Okay, I've got cane growing up in. Uh, some of it because I bedded some of my cane in there and some of it didn't get dug up Okay, y'all This is two two cups of Georgia sand I call it Georgia sand because I get it off my road four six Eight. Eight cups of... I'm trying to judge how much I'm going to need. Okay, now this is my... This is my Portland cement. I, pour, I strained it. And I put it in this container. Two... Four, six. Y'all, I can't see for looking. I guess it's sitting right here. I had it. I, I had it. I just didn't know where it was. Okay, I'm stirring it up. Okay, 
I'm adding water and I'm not gonna put too much water hopefully I don't because I don't want it too runny I want it uh, thick y'all I'm telling you this this cement will stick like you can't hardly get it off I had a rock over there that I had a little bit of cement on. I must have used it or tried to use it before. I like to never got it off. I hammered on it and done everything. Couldn't get it, uh, get it off. So this cement is permanent, y'all. I, it, it, it is in Georgia. I don't know about other places, about how the temperature is and how it does, but all I know is what what I do here in Georgia. And I have not had any problems with cement not holding or cracking or nothing like that. I, don't have any any problems with that kind of stuff okay I'm through mixing Y'all, I'm having a little problem here. Uh, this pot is leaning like this. And the rocks are not staying up there. They can't. They, they keep falling off. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put the cement on. And then I'm going, I took, I took it all off, I took all the rocks off, and I'm, I'm putting cement on now, and I'm going to let it dry some. And then I'm going to turn, well, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try another way. Because this is not working. It's, it's, uh, the cement is not staying. It's falling over. It's not. So I'm, I'm going to try some more. Uh, I'm going to try it and, and let it dry a little and see. If, if it'll stay better then you know uh, I don't know I, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it I'm not giving up I, I don't give up too easy I see that was not gonna work the rocks kept falling off and I tried to put them where they would lean on each other and stay, but 
it didn't work. It did. It did not. It did not work. So I'm trying uh, something else. Y'all, you know, I just try things and everything. Most things I try work out pretty good, but some things is just inevitable. It's not gonna work because this cement is sliding by itself. These big rocks here are cannot stay up there. Cannot. They cannot stay up there. It's not possible. I see that. <laughs> but oh uh, I'm trying to put a little, you know, and, and let it firm up some and keep adding to it and get cement on it and then I'll go from there. Uh, that's all I know to do is put cement on it without the rocks. I, I, I. And it doesn't take this long to kind of harden up if you let it sit if you keep stirring it up it will it will try to stay softer but I'll let y'all see it with the camera. When this sun is so hot, okay, I'm going to set it over here now and let it dry some, and then I'll add maybe some more uh, to it later when it dries just a little bit. Y'all, <laughs> uh, everything is not perfect. Everything does not work out as you plan. You just have to improvise and uh, try to figure out what what to do now. But don't give up. Somehow, I'm going to have a pot. It may not have big old rocks on it. it may have little old rocks on it. I don't know what it's going to have. But anyway... looks good right there sometimes something might work out better than the rocks especially with this sliding cement looks pretty I'm gonna let it sit here and dry good morning everyone I'm Helen from Georgia and I'm back out here this morning on this beautiful sunshiny warm morning it's better than rain well we need some rain it is very very dry and I could deal with some rain I can I can go on the porch if it if it happened to rain, which it's not, I'm <laughs> probably going to do. But anyway, y'all know my pot was a disaster. It did not do what it was supposed to do. What I planned. Oh, I'm having my coffee this morning, y'all. And this is Helen from Georgia, queen of YouTube. <laughs> I love this cup, y'all. <laughs> But that, that don't that don't mean that's true, y'all. Just because somebody wrote it on this cup don't mean it's true. Okay. Let me uh, Y'all know this was a disaster. Almost 
But I don't let, I try not to let disasters get the best of me. I try to work something out. I, something ain't right here, y'all. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to take this off and see what what we got. Cause Let me get my pot back up here. Okay, I'm gonna cut this wire. Not wire. This chicken, this fishing line, I'm gonna cut this off because I don't need it. It's not gonna fall out or nothing now. Before it was so old, it might have come apart. Okay. This is my pot. And y'all, I had to get right here because yesterday the sun was shining so bright. It was just too bright. And so I I just had to uh, get in the shade a little because it was just way too bright uh, for the video I didn't I didn't like it like that there is the inside I put cement in there and what I'm gonna do now is get a coffee y'all all this thinking is <laughs> getting me <laughs> trying to figure out what to do now that things can go wrong no matter how much you think about it and think you've got it worked out things can go wrong so I've decided to paint this thing I've got some black paint here I'm just experimenting, y'all, because I don't know what in the world this mess is going to do. Don't even think this is going to show up because it's so dark up under here. I don't know what to do about all that. I don't know if a light would help it. It might would, I don't know. This is black and purple. Y'all, I can't get fixed. I can't get where I'm, I need to be for the light to be right. And I don't know if it's even possible. Y'all, I'm having such a, so much trouble doing this. I don't even know if I need to, I don't know what's wrong. I don't think I've had this, this bad of a problem before.
this is not necessary what I'm doing now, painting the inside, but I just decided I would. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Have a sip of coffee, y'all. Let me look at it. <laughs> and my cameras, I don't even, I can't even hardly see nothing. So, y'all, what do y'all think about that? I'm going to let it dry now. I am pleased after all that disaster. I'll make another rock flower pot when I figure out how to do it. <laughs> so, can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see or not, but anyway. I am so, so pleased with it. Now, I guess I'll be through with it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is that not awesome? Hey, y'all, that's one of a kind. I think. I think it's one of a kind. I don't think nobody else could do that. <laughs> oh, they might do uh, something sort of similar, but I think this right here is like a, not another one like it. Not, not, not. This disaster didn't turn out to be a total disaster. It turned out to be beautiful. Oh, how awesome. Y'all, I could never stop. I, I'm just a person that don't know when to quit. Oh, how beautiful. Y'all. Oh, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. I got, I'm going, I think I'm going to put a plant in here. So, I'm going, I'm going to go around here and find something to put in it. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I found something to put in here. Uh, y'all know my rocks didn't work, but I'm going to put rocks in here now. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, they go, this pot's going to have rocks on it in spite of all 
all that didn't work they gonna have it's gonna have rocks I didn't know this was gonna happen y'all I did not know that I'm just doing I'm just doing I'm I'm not uh planning <laughs> I'm just trying to do something and, and and the rock this pot started out having rocks on it well it's got rocks on it look <laughs> it's got rocks not the way I planned but it's got rocks that's all I can say This is it. This is my finished project, y'all. This I don't know what this is right here. <laughs> y'all, this is my rock. This is how my uh, flower pot turned out. It was supposed to have rocks on it. It's got rocks in it. <laughs> what a change. What a... Anyway. That's how my life is, you know. It starts out and it, it just changes and I, I just try to change with the, with the flow, whatever, you know. I just try to go along and try to fix whatever it needs fixing. And this is, this is something that I had around there that uh, was growing. And uh, I went around there and uh, dug it up and put it in this pot and because I think it matches pretty pretty good. I don't know what else would would go in this in this pot this good. But anyway, so this is my finished project. I can't say that it went smooth, but it went well. And I and it turned out so so beautiful. Y'all Thank y'all so, so much for watching me and, and, uh, commenting and, uh, kind words that y'all say. I am so blessed, so blessed to have, have all my YouTube people. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> I guess I could do without you, but I don't want to. <laughs> I have learned so much about places and people, uh, like what time it is over there somewhere way yonder. I never thought about all that, you know. I'm, I'm just in my little world here, and it's, it's amazing to me when I put a video on there, like uh, I think in the afternoon, Somebody said they was fishing to go to bed. And it's, you know, and time changes it, and, and temperatures change it, all kind of stuff changes. And I'm just so, so thankful to be here and still doing videos and enjoying my life, which, you know, right here, in this little <laughs> surroundings I have is my life. I don't I don't go anywhere, do anything much. I, I, I go to church and, and I have to go to the grocery store and I have to go to the post office. And every once in a while I have to go to Home Depot and get things that I don't have, but you know, this is my life right here and I'm 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 right here by myself talking to myself. <laughs> and thinking about what I'm gonna do next. And something always comes up that, that I might try and some of it don't work. But look what happened. 
when that didn't work. I, I mean, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have made this pot like this from from just thinking it up. You know, I I made this pot from what what happened. The the, the bricks, the rocks did not stay. I saw pretty much all that. The, the ones on the bottom stayed okay, but then when you started putting one on top of the other, they started falling off, falling off. I'd go around here and I'd, there's another one fell off. I said, well, that's not going to work. That's not never going to work because it's slanted like this and it's against the gravity to, for a big rock to stick up here and stay. Uh... So this is what turned out from from what I was trying to do to start with. But the Lord always takes care of people. And, and if you're trying real hard to do something and you rely on Him and ask Him to help you figure out what to do, <laughs> He will. <laughs> he will. And I'm going to... Uh, what, what I'm going to do now, y'all... Y'all, I'm going in there again... I am going to cook some fried green tomatoes. And they, I thought, I don't, they, they may not have. There's this cafe called Whistle Stop Cafe or something. It was in a movie. Anyway, they cooked fried green tomatoes and everyone says how good they are I've never been there I think it's about uh I don't know how far uh I really ha have not uh ever I'm gonna go ask Siri <laughs> and I'll let y'all know I'll be back hey Siri Hey Siri. Uh huh. Where is the Whistle Stop Cafe for fried green tomatoes? The only option I found is the Whistle Stop Cafe on McCracken Street in Juliet. Does that one sound good? Oh. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? How far is Juliet from here? It looks like Juliet is about 89 miles away by car. Oh. I didn't know that. Thank you. Anyway, I'm going in there now, and I'm going to fry some fried green tomatoes. I got plenty of tomatoes, and I'm going to fry some for y'all. And see how, how they turn out. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and thumbs up. And all that sweet things that y'all do. I'll see y'all in the house. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm healing from Georgia. I may make this a two-part thing. I don't know. I I don't want a real, real long video because some people don't like them. But anyway, uh... I'm, I'm in here. I told y'all I was going to make fried green tomatoes and I picked these right here. And I, uh, I've already washed them. I'm going to cut them up. And they they have a cafe there that's called Whistle Stop Cafe. And it they, they sell, they are known for fried green tomatoes. And I don't know how they make them. Or, or anything like that. I just know. I, I've never been there and probably will never go there. It's <laughs> probably never see that place. But anyway, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice these tomatoes and I'm going to fry them. And I think, y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do about uh this video these are <laughs> my 
This is my uh, blooms from my t my uh, onions. They were blooming, and I dug them up. And let's see, where is it? Oh, right over here. Let me get it. This is one of my homegrown onions. Not not that great, but it's an onion. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, I'm gonna do two things today. This is going to be my dinner, my 12 o'clock noon dinner. Y'all, I don't call dinner at supper. I call supper, supper, and dinner, dinner. <laughs> Y'all, oh, good gracious. Okay, let me, let me mix up my, uh, I am going, this is just a spur of the moment, y'all. I'm, I do things like that. I, I am always doing something unexpected that I don't even expect myself. Oh, uh, good gracious. I ought to be. Okay, there, 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 there. I'm going to show y'all how I make fried green tomatoes and uh -oh, salmon patties my way this is how I do it this is not what everybody else does this is what I do oh. okay this is my bowl that I'm going to make my salmon up in. This is a, this is a hundred year old <laughs> cat opener. <laughs> it's old. I don't know how old. I don't think it's got a date on it, but I bought a new one. I cannot use it. It will not open like this one. Cody could not use this one, but I have no trouble whatsoever using it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pour the, the juice off. This is Double Q Pink Salmon. Okay. Now, let me pour this somewhere else. I'm not prepared for nothing. Okay. Now, I pick out the black stuff and stuff that, that don't look good to me. <laughs> okay. I crumble it up, put it in there. And sometimes they have, it, it has bones in it and I take them out. And this is plenty for me and, and I I'm, I'm, uh, I'll have plenty for today and tonight and there's a bone you can you can cook it but I don't I don't like it I I don't want it in here it's it's soft and all that but I just don't want any uh, any bones in here okay but anyway there's my salmon y'all this is one of my bell peppers from from my, from my little plant it's not real big yet I picked it early because I wanted one and I didn't have one Oh. Uh,
get the seeds out and all that white stuff. Okay, that's a small, that's a small little bell pepper. I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna use half of this. I don't need a whole one. Uh, and this is homegrown, homegrown, <laughs> but they're not very big because I planted them late. You have to plant these really in in uh, January or February, uh, early, early, like maybe October or something. I think uh, that that they plant them like that in in Vidalia where they grow Vidalia onions. They plant them real, real early because they they are uh, can pretty much take the cold. You know, as long as, long as it don't freeze them too bad. Okay. All right. That's that's my uh my bell pepper, onions, egg. An egg. I always crack an egg in something else because. You, you can't ever tell if it's going to really be good, you know, for sure. I always, probably because I was raised in the country where when you got eggs, them off the ground where, where a nest, where a chicken laid them, and, and they may be uh, not any good, so... I have not ever forgot that, you know, that that's just in me, you know, to check before I put it in my whatever I'm making. Okay, I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to cook this last because it doesn't take long. Barnett's stone ground sifted white meal. It doesn't rise and... and I've always used this all my life. I guess it's how you were raised. <laughs> you know, I never knew anything about uh, self-rising uh, meal. Okay, I'm just going to put this much. It's just, just a little bit. And I put self-rising flour, white lily, <laughs> my bag is kind of ragged here, <laughs> uh, self-rising flour, I make a mess y'all, I, I know y'all won't do that, <laughs> okay, here's my all right, let me stir it up and see if this is right. Okay. Wait. I'll sit right there now. My to fried green tomatoes. Let me get them started. I got some parchment paper here. I'm going to I'm going to lay them on it when I and I'm going to use this egg. Okay. I've already washed them I told y'all I've already washed them and I'm going I'm going to slice them real thin as I can
Is that not pretty tomato, y'all? I'm only going to cook one. It's only me here, and they're not that great left over. They kind of get soggy if you have them left over long. Okay. I'm going to lay them here and salt them. See, as y'all can see, I don't know. All right, there they are. All right, I'm gonna solve them. put black pepper on because I like black pepper some things I put I don't put I don't put black pepper in uh, in my dumplings till I go to eat them but some things I I use black pepper in cooking I put black pepper on my chicken and Right now. Oh, let me get my pan going here. I am using Wesson oil for my fried green tomatoes. put this egg in here and I'm going to beat it a little bit put salt okay my camera cut off y'all I don't know where it cut off I really am having a time I put milk and one egg in here and some flour and now I'm going to put some meal. tomatoes off some because they have a lot of, they have a lot of moisture in them and all right this is a uh, this is not the way uh, everyone else does it Uh, it's not the way. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to put a, put one in here and coat it real good with this. Then I'm going to put it in this flour.
bring my camera around here. I almost got too hot. And almost got too hot. Oh, I'm just over here dipping them in this stuff and putting them in this uh, flour. I, I thought I was finished, but I found another one over here on this paper that I didn't see. Okay, now I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my salmon in here. Okay, I'm going to put my salmon in now. What I do is I make them into patties. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Yeah, I guess y'all can. This is how I do it, y'all. I don't know how other people do salmon. You know, different people make them different ways and like them different ways. But Just whatever you uh, like. This is just a little small can, you know. Uh, I don't know how many ounces. I didn't think about looking.
Y'all, one little can makes a lot of salmon for one person. I mean, I don't think they make them any smaller than... Let me, I'll, I'll look on the can and see how many ounces it is. I don't know. I, I didn't really check. Where is the can? Oh. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Let me get this one in there, and then I'll see if I can find out for y'all. So... Seven, seven and a half ounces of salmon. It won't be long now. I think I can turn them off because I think they're ready. Doesn't take long at all. y'all okay I I'm through cooking my uh my salmon patties I about can't tell them apart here <laughs> they look alike uh now I'm pouring me some uh ranch dressing that's what I like this okay here it is what I promised y'all, iced tea, fried green tomatoes, and salmon patties. Anybody that don't have much money that can grow a tomato and pick it green and buy a can of small salmon, look how many it, no, that's not salmon. <laughs> this is salmon. Y'all, I can't even tell the difference myself. <laughs> anyway, this is a a uh, meal fit for a king and I'm eating from a little saucer because I don't need a big plate but it matches my plates that, that uh, I don't even know what to call that design but anyway let me say the blessing thank you Lord Jesus for all the blessings that you give us thank you Lord for for the food we're about to eat and that we are so thankful to have it. And thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, it's time to, let's see what I'm going to taste of first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste of this fried green tomato. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. How good. Mmm. 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 That is delicious. Let me take one more. Oh, this is salmon. It's bigger of ranch dressing, too. 
okay? Fried green tomato. Go. Y'all can ha have this. This is easy. Mmm. Mmm. And I've got a bunch of green tomatoes. And I'm going to have to eat some because the vines are breaking down. There's so many on it. Mm -hmm. so I, can't, I can't keep it separated which is which here. This is salmon. This is fried green tomatoes. Both are delicious. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and subscribe and share and click the bell. I need to quit talking. My mouth is full and I was taught not to talk with your mouth full. Anyway, y'all need to try this. It's and it's easy. I I put I didn't put all them bowls and dipping and dipping and all that stuff. I just try to make it easy and good. <laughs> and I uh, thank y'all, thank y'all so so much for being patient. And I, I'm, I mean, I'm. I think I thought that was a uh, fried green tomato a while ago when it was uh, a salmon, and I can't tell the difference. It don't matter no way. It's good both of them. <laughs> See y'all. Y'all watch my video and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>